Hello, in this video is shown a simple example of the image transfer from Unity to MATLAB and also some data from MATLAB to Unity, some control data. So let's see how does it work. And this example consists of three parts. The first part is simple image display image from Unity. So we have this screen and we just want to display the image in MATLAB. So we run this section. So this is our image. And here is the resolution we set up with the script. It can be changed. Second part we move camera and we display the image. So here we created additional function to move the camera. So here we can see that camera moves and we receive the image. And the first, the third part, here we display the image move camera and for a particular region we hide the object so for this region firstly it moves then the object will be hidden and next it will appear and again we move camera display the image. Let's take a look at it in more details. So also the image here can be saved manually. For example we can click uh, browse, select some location, desktop for example. Next uh, select a random name, the default name or can be changed to another name. Also extension and next we can click save, the image will be saved. So here is our image. Uh, next here we have two scripts here, the camera script and uh, server script. Camera script. Uh, corresponds to the image itself. Here in the beginning we can set up the resolution. It can be changed or can leave this one for default. And here we have, um, for example, this corresponds uh, for browse location, this corresponds for save image so it's tap to these buttons browse save and the rest part corresponds to the render for example save snapshot also used for the server itself so here you need to know all of the things but you need to take into consideration several parts of the script which you can modify For example, uh, here we, uh, based on different cases, we operate with different functions. So what the meaning of them? So we go to the MATLAB and let's consider the first case. Image read TCP1. So we open this uh, function. So here um, we work with the case camera. So this is our uh, case and other things is the folder and the name of the image. Um, for example, if we take a look here to this folder, you will see that this image also saves here by the name test and next it's uh, transferred to the 
Batman. So case camera. Uh, corresponds to this case camera SS means string string and this camera we simply uh, start this coroutine and it's capture image for us and send this to MATLAB this is the first case camera the second case here we have movement of the camera new function let's consider it so here we have a case move cam and two values float values move f move x move x uh, here it's just difference in the sign so here we transfer just uh, one value so we see the diagonal movement of our camera So move, we send these values from 0 to 2. It's um, by default, it's position 0. When we run this section, it change values of x, y to the value of 2. So, uh, for example, if we run this section, we will see movement of our camera by this step to the value of 2. Diagonal movement, we just uh, the difference between in the side. So this one minus, this one plus. So this is the case move cam. So here we uh, get our values for x and y and we work with the function cam move. Firstly, we find our object, main camera, and we change its position movement x, movement y, it's this value. The zero clean data corresponds to the case, another data, for example, one and two in this case, corresponds to the movement x, y. Also here, this data. The last the, the part, here we also activate and deactivate object in this example we consider the digital number before we consider it string float and here is the example of the digital number it's the case uh, activate object this case so here we have just one value and we work with this function. If it's equal to one, we activate our object. If it's equal to false, we hide our object. So sphere is this sphere. We also edit this object sphere here. And we can activate and deactivate it. So again, we hide it for particular region here so it's our movement if it's uh, bigger than this value smaller than this value it's equal to zero for other part it's equal to one again let's take a look at it here our camera when the values equal to this region we hide our object so it moves then for this value then shows again we also see it here so this is example how the image and data transfer can be realized so here you can add any other cases and same any other functions in the MATLAB can be edited. Thank you.